videos we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. This past weekend, professional golfer John Ram made all the headlines after he emerged victorious in the 2023 Masters Tournament, arguably the biggest golfing event of the year. This Spanish born and raised athlete was crowned the victor after winning by four strokes and 12 under par for the entire tournament. As a result, John is going to take home right around $3.24 million for snagging himself the title, not to mention that spiffy green jacket. And that's an amount that is more money than any previous Masters tournament winner has ever won. And guess who he gets to share all that money with? His beautiful wife and college sweetheart, Kelly Cahill. Although he was born in Barrica, Spain, John has split his success between two continents, at home in Europe and on the road in North America with six European tour wins and five more coming from the PGA. Over that span of time, John has established himself as one of the top golfers in the entire world and once held the number one spot in the world amateur golf bankings for a record breaking 60 weeks in a row. Since then, he's gone on to win tournament after tournament and even earned himself the nickname of Rombo, you know, like the action hero, but with an H. Yeah, it reads better on paper. Something tells me the one person who isn't calling him by that name is probably the woman he shares his life and home with. John first met Kelly back in 2015 when they were both attending a Halloween party at Arizona State University. At the time, John wasn't the only athlete of the two. Kelly was a dedicated track and field team member of Arizona State. In fact, the two lovebirds were almost torn apart early on in their relationship when they squared off against one another in a fiercely competitive tennis match. When asked to recollect how she felt in that moment, Kelly told English media source The Sun, he's killing forehands, cross court zingers, and I'm thinking this can't be right. He was so good. I was so upset. I was actually mad for a day or two. We have not stepped foot on a tennis court since. They might not have competed against one another since, but they did eventually walk down the aisle hand in hand after John popped the question in 2018, right before he competed in the US Open. According to reports, he even designed the ring himself. When they finally said I do a year later at the end of 2019, John and Kelly did so at a gorgeous Catholic ceremony, which took place in John's home country of Spain. Following that ceremony and what was no doubt an epic honeymoon, the happy couple returned to the United States where they had already put down roots in the state where they first met. Shortly after getting together at Arizona State University, John and his wife, Kelly, bought a home together in the city of Scottsdale, Arizona for just over $1 million. A desert city located east of Phoenix, Scottsdale is recognized all around the world for its spa resorts and numerous five-star golf courses. Take for instance the world-class course that sits directly inside of Silverleaf Community, the very spot that John and his wife call home. Known for its luxurious homes, not to mention its lush views, Silverleaf is one of the nicest communities you'll lay your eyes on. That being said, when you first approach John's house, one of the first things you might notice is its modest size. But don't let its outward look fool you. This Mediterranean style home with more than 3,000 square feet of space inside features a wide driveway and multiple garages as well as an exterior made out of stone and stucco. After going up a beautiful central pathway to reach the front door, upon stepping into John's home, you'll be greeted by a front foyer that boasts high ceilings and is decorated in a modern style that features features a whole bunch of natural light that bleeds in from the nearby living room. Centered around a small coffee table, John's main living space is a monochrome beauty with cream colored furniture that boasts pops of aqua blue highlights. You can find these in the pillows and the drapes for instance. Simply put, this is the perfect space to plop down and relax after a long day of stroking it on the back nine. Not far from there is a pool table situated in the family's game room where John can practice hitting tiny balls into holes without having to step foot outside into that scorching hot Arizona sun. Better yet, if he doesn't feel like shooting pool, he can sip some wine and putt, putt, putt away. 
Circling back to the kitchen, outside of its built-in high-end appliances, this space also includes marble countertops, stainless steel faucets, white towel backsplash, a kitchen island with bar-style seats, and some gorgeous cabinets painted a stunning charcoal gray. A few feet from there is the home's dining room table, which sits directly beneath a chrome chandelier and is big enough to seat six quite comfortably. Within shouting distance from there is the home's specialized wine cellar that boasts woodwork and enough room for hundreds of bottles of John's favorite vintage. Then, in the heart of the property, the master suite is impressively large with direct access to the property's backyard and an epic walk-in closet as well as a luxury bathroom that includes a deep soaking tub and a separate glass shower resting on a honeycomb pattern floor. On the opposite wing of the home, you'll find two further guest bedrooms, each of which comes with their very own bathroom. Then, then elsewhere on the main floor is a neat home office with a leather chair and wooden desk that sits across from an entertainment unit. But what's got to be the home's highlight is the incredible backyard, which boasts a pool and hot tub set directly in the middle of a series of putting greens, fake sand traps, and astroturf. And if that wasn't enough, out here you'll also discover breathtaking views of the nearby mountains and wildlife, as well as an outdoor kitchen that includes a grill, sink, and countertop for working. After living in this home for a little over four years, John and Kelly listed their family residence in June 2021 for $1.6 million. Two months later, they found a buyer who was willing to shell out a little bit more than that, to the tune of $1.65 million. Since leaving their longtime home behind, John and Kelly have done a great job at keeping their new location under lock and key. No one seems to know quite where they've moved to, though there were whispers that the family has moved to Spain. Going by some of the photos that John posted on his Instagram, I would definitely say that wherever this new home is, it's certainly no downgrade. Over on social media, you can find footage of John recently taking a break from his hectic schedule to spend time with his sons, Kipa and Aniko. For instance, he's already teaching Kipa how to swing a club in their new backyard, a space that boasts a well-gated pool to keep the kids safe and not to mention some stunning views of a near by mountain range. Based upon those pictures, it looks like John has kept his love for Mediterranean style alive and well. Regardless, it's his kids and the family that John is focusing most of his attention on these days. He recently told Golf Digest, I'm much more interested in raising a family and being a good husband and father than I am golf. Don't get me wrong, I want to be the best golfer I can be. If I had a gun to my head and had to choose between having one or the other, I wouldn't pick golf. I I choose family every time. Sounds like a man with his priorities straight to me, but for now, that's all we can say for sure about John's new living arrangement, which means that that is going to bring this latest edition of House Tour to a close. Thanks so much for watching today's video, and before you head out, consider answering the following question for me. What is the most elaborate setup you ever dreamt of installing in your backyard? Let me know if you've ever contemplated transforming your entire outside space into a putting green like John did in the comments below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications to make sure you never miss an episode. My name is Kara. Feel free to follow me on Instagram, but don't leave quite yet because coming up, we'll look into the homes of Anna de Armas. I'll see you all on the next tour. Bye. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. This past year, Anna de Armas found herself nominated for an Academy Award for Best Actress thanks to her portrayal of famed Hollywood sex bomb Marilyn Monroe in the Netflix film Blonde. While Anna didn't go on to claim one of the industry's top prizes for herself, the event capped off what has got to be the most gigantically successful and drama-filled two year stretch of her entire life. The craziness began in 2020 after Ana de Arma started dating her fellow Deepwater co-star Ben Affleck. Prior to meeting the future two-time Mr. Lopez, Ana lived on her own in the Venice Beach neighborhood of Los Angeles for about seven years. No one seems to know much more about her former place than that, but after dating Ben for a few months, she decided to bite the bullet, sell, and move in with Ben inside of his $20 million 
dollar home in LA's Pacific Palisades. Clocking in at 13,453 square feet of space, Ben's palatial estate was pure luxury. He first bought the property back in 2018 for $19.25 million in an area of town known to locals as Palisades Rivera, a spot that other celebrities like Steven Spielberg, Tom Hanks, Whoopi Goldberg, and Matt Damon all call home. So not all of us can afford living in mega mansions like our favorite celebrities, but we can afford to smell like them without breaking the vein. Recently, I discovered Dossier and I'm so happy that I did. Dossier reproduces classic high-end luxury scents at a fraction of the price, keeping the exact same high quality by cutting all the expenses and the infamous brand tax. Some of the things that I love about Dossier is the affordability. Since they remove retailer markups, they're able to offer the most iconic scents at an affordable price, between $29 to $59 only. Compared to the original perfumes, Dossier has excellent feedback on the similarity of the scent, and I can contest to that. My two favorites right now are the Ambery Saffron and the Ambery Cherry, but there are countless to choose from. They also have a risk-free system, so you guys can try the perfumes before you commit. If you decide to return the scent, Dossier offers a 30-day return period where customers can return any unsealed 50 milliliter Dossier perfume and get a full refund, no questions asked. There are free returns and exchanges forever. There are also great bulk deals on the Dossier website, including up to 25% in discount and free shipping for three or more bottles of perfume. Not to mention, Dossier is always adding new scents to their collection and are always open to take suggestions from customers for future scents. Today, I'm going to share my deal with you so you can check them out. Dossier offers a welcome offer of up to 20% on the website. Today, you guys can get up to 30% off for your first order by using my discount code. And I have one especially for you guys in the description box below. And don't forget, when you check out, this bonus 5% applies at the checkout on top of the welcome offer. Happy shopping! There, this custom-built house showcases an East Coast traditional style, while boasting seven bedrooms as well as nine bathrooms on a half-acre lot that sits directly across from the Rivera Country Club. Starting in the front foyer, you'll find a home with ceilings that soar overhead and a curved staircase that leads visiting guests upstairs to the second floor. Whether it's a charming sitting room with box beam ceilings and bay windows, a formal dining room with a statement piece chandelier, or even the family room with a stunning fireplace and wall of glass that opens to a tranquil outdoor space, this home has a little bit of everything for everyone. Elsewhere on the main floor, Ben's kitchen included chic blue cabinets, high-end appliances, marble countertops, and its very own dining area, as well as a long window seat that looks out onto the garden right outside. A perfect place to get work done from, the house also includes a stylish office with a wall of built-ins that no doubt provided the ideal backdrop for Ben and Anna to complete the finishing touches on any contract negotiations. As for what was no doubt the one-time couple's favorite spot in the house, the master bedroom. It boasts vaulted ceilings, a fireplace of its own, a spa-like bathroom, as well as an utterly exquisite walk-in closet that I'm sure Anna almost immediately took over for herself upon moving in. Further amenities are said to include a three-car garage, a home theater, wellness room, an upstairs lounge, a temperature controlled walk-in wine cellar, as well as a fully stocked gym. While living here, Anna would have gone to take full advantage of the property's incredible outdoor spaces that included alfresco dining options under the covered patio, complete with heaters, a fireplace, and a flat screen TV, as well as an outdoor kitchen. There's even an expansive lawn with raised garden beds located right next door to a pool with an accompanying water slide. My guess? Is the slide was for Ben's kids more so than him or Anna, but who doesn't love a water slide? After moving in with Ben sometime in the early summer of 2020, Anna de Armas quickly found herself the subject of an endless number of paparazzi photo shoots, seemingly every time that she and Ben dared to step foot outside the house. Whether they were simply walking arm in arm down the street, getting into adventures with their pet dogs, or even window shopping for a house that they could buy together, the media never left 
left Ben or Anna alone for more than a moment. Early on in their relationship, neither of them seemed all that bothered by the ridiculous levels of press. In June 2020, Anna even played a prank with the help of Ben's kids by leaving a giant cutout of herself striking a pose on the front lawn of Ben's home, knowing full well that the press would have a field day with those images. But after spending the holidays of 2020 together, something went wrong and these two called it quits. According to multiple reports, the actors broke up over a phone call in January 2021. As for what proved to be the final nail in the coffin of their relationship, while it's never been confirmed, the general belief relayed to page six by a source close to the situation was that Ben wouldn't commit to having more kids. And with Anna being in her 30s, that proved to be something of a deal breaker. Later that month, Anna would move out of Ben's place. She soon began looking across town at homes far away from Ben in West Hollywood. But I guess that wasn't ultimately far enough because Anna never found a spot. Instead, she decided to leave Los Angeles entirely and head to New York City. As for Ben, well, I can't imagine the breakup was all that easy for him either, and a few eagle-eyed neighbors of his would later spot Anna's giant cutout shoved very non-discreetly into the trash cans at the side of his home. Much like with her former place in Venice Beach, wherever Anna stayed in New York once she arrived there, she did a fabulous job keeping its location to herself. All we know for sure is that upon her arrival in the Big Apple, she met Tinder executive Paul Bukadekis in June 2021, and the two have since begun to live with one another in an apartment somewhere in New York City. Having learned a little something from her former high profile relationship, Anna has kept the details of this newer romance under wraps. But over these past few months, she's finally opened up a bit more about what drove her away from LA in the first place. While discussing the end of her relationship with Ben Affleck and the paparazzi's obsession with them, Anna told Elle magazine, That's one of the reasons why I left LA. Going through it myself confirmed my thoughts about this is not the place for me to be. It became a little bit too much. There's no escape. There's no way out. It's always the feeling of something that you don't have, something missing. It's a city that keeps you anxious. Anna would call New York home for the next two years. Then in January 2023, she'd make a change once again. Shortly after discovering that she had been nominated for Best Actress for her work in Blonde, Anna de Armas secured herself a little congratulatory prize a brand new home in what's believed to be Woodstock, Vermont. Like so much else in her life, Anna has kept the finer details of this place a secret for now. But here is what we know. The home is said to have set her back around $7 million and comes complete with six bedrooms, eight bathrooms, and a grand total of 30 acres of land, boasting mountain views, open meadows, forests, hiking trails, and a swimming pool of its very own. What's more, according to the original listing, the home was purchased by Anna fully furnished, so she doesn't have to worry about moving anything she doesn't want to. It appears as if Anna and Paul are still together, but it's unclear if he'll be joining her here at this new residence. In fact, it's not known if Anna intends to use this place as a getaway or a permanent residence, but the fact that she bought the place fully furnished has me leaning more towards the former. But then again, based upon some of her recent social media activity, this home might just be so warm and cozy in the winter with fireplaces and animals galore that she could end up living there all year long. As for where she moves next or whether she'll ever let us in on a few more details of her private life, well, we'll just have to wait and see. For now, that'll bring this newest house tour to a close. Thanks for watching and before you head out, consider answering the following question. In your opinion, is the glamorous life of a celebrity worth the constant intrusions from the press? I don't think I could do it, but let me know if you'd keep things as close to the chest as on if you'd been under the spotlight like she was in the comments down below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications to make sure you never miss a drop. My name is Kara. If you enjoyed this look into the homes of Anna de Armas, then stay tuned because coming up next, I'm gonna take you on the journey of Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez's most recently failed house hunting trip. Well, I'll see you all next time. Bye. Sure, JLo and Ben Affleck might be in the midst of trying to shrug off a meme-inducing appearance at this year's Grammys, where Ben was caught on camera looking miserable before getting into a tense conversation with his lovely wife. 
but that doesn't mean that Hollywood's it couple is in any way bothered by what happened. Not only are they both aware of the memes circulating online, so much so that Jen even reposted one of them to Instagram, but they've also finally closed on a brand new house after almost two years of searching for the perfect place. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Gilo and Ben began their epic search for a home to share in the summer of 2021, and over the course of the next year and a half, the newly engaged couple hit the road looking at a series of insanely expensive boats. Ben first started their search by checking out the residence owned by the ex-wife of famed restaurant owner Mr. Chow. This massive 30,000 square foot property located in the super exclusive district of Holmby Hills came with a reported price tag of $65 million and boasted nine bedrooms, 14 bathrooms, and a whole bunch of one of a kind details, including 400 year old Moorish columns, as well as an art gallery's worth of paintings. Only something about the place just didn't seem to work for the pair, so they kept looking. Next, they discovered another home, also located in Holmby Hills. As like smaller piece of property worth a wee bit more than the last one at an estimated $75 million, but this one wasn't right for them either. Shortly after, it seemed like Ben and JLo's hunt had come to an end when it was announced that they had entered into escrow on a Bel Air estate with 20,000 square feet of space, 10 bedrooms, and 17 bathrooms worth $55 million. But before that deal closed, the couple decided that this house wasn't their cup of tea either, and they walked away from the table. They then Ben briefly flirted with the idea of buying the $165 million home of TV mogul Aaron Spelling. With its lavish 56,000 square feet of space, 14 bedrooms, 27 full bathrooms, and 100 garage spaces, this monstrosity was truly beyond opulent, which might make you think it'd be the perfect home for Jennifer Lopez. But alas, it doesn't seem like the couple were ever that serious about this place. And in August of 2022, Ben and JLo tapped out. After almost two years of searching and coming up empty, they concluded that the perfect house was already sitting in their combined real estate profiles. Jen originally bought the house she and Ben decided to call their own from actress Sella Ward in 2016, dropping $28 million on this gorgeous Bel Air home. With the help of her good friend architect Samuel Marks, Lopez then reimagined this 13,000 square foot residence, resulting in a French country estate that you can find nestled in extensive grounds that blend stone and wood, along with a bunch of other natural elements. Situated on eight acres of land and boasting seven bedrooms along with 13 bathrooms, this home has all the bells and whistles a celebrity abode demands, including a two-story living room complete with a curved staircase and wrought iron railings, in addition to high ceilings, a bar, a fireplace, steel windows, and doors that open to a stone terrace with tranquil greenery. Not far from there is a formal dining room with a stunning art deco chandelier located next to a chef's kitchen with wood beam ceilings and a rustic breakfast nook that features this charming stone fireplace. There's also a lower level that features a 30 seat screening room that showcases movie posters from several films in which both JLo and her Academy Award winning husband have started in. As if all that wasn't enough, upstairs the master suite includes multiple dressing rooms, an elegant walk-in closet, library, and a luxurious spa-like bathroom designed with a centerpiece tub that gazes out towards a private terrace that offers views of the home's lush grounds. And speaking of outside, the estate's outdoor spaces are filled with trees, bushes, plants, a guest cottage, hiking trails, a fire pit, a vegetable garden, and a private lake with sand sandy beach and an outdoor shower. Oh, and there's also a putting green as well as a 100 seat amphitheater for impromptu concerts. Seriously, what doesn't this place have? Well, besides Jen and Ben calling it home that is, because guess what? They changed their minds again. Having convinced themselves that this would be the perfect place to live and dropping up some ideas for further renovations, JLo and Ben abandoned those plans after discovering the house they've been searching for all along. If the recent report 
reporting coming out of TMZ is to be believed, then Jennifer and Ben's longtime house hunting extravaganza is finally over. The media outlet is reporting that the happy couple entered escrow around Valentine's Day 2023 for a giant mansion in the Los Angeles neighborhood of the Pacific Palisades. The new property built just last year is set on a full sycamore tree surrounded acre of land and has been described as having a Hamptons-esque design that includes a motor core entered through an eye-pleasing arched brick port cocher. Boasting seven bedrooms and 13 bathrooms inside this home, you'll find a grand central foyer located right beside a spacious formal living room with a classic wood burning fireplace. A short walk from there is the sun drenched dining room that also includes a fireplace of its own, as well as a very chic looking bar. Elsewhere, the formal office comes with an ensuite powder room, as well as sliding doors that lead outdoors to the expansive covered patio deck. As for the gourmet kitchen, it features a double island, state-of-the-art appliances, marble finishes, and a perfectly cute area to enjoy your morning breakfast. Continuing on with the indoor-outdoor lifestyle is the nearby family room that provides direct access to the exterior entertainment spaces while boasting high vaulted ceilings with exposed wood beams, custom wall-to-wall -wall built-ins, and a full-service bar. Heading back to that main foyer, a stunning central staircase takes you upstairs to a bright and airy sitting room that's centered around four guest suites, all of which include their own ensuite baths. Then, there's the ritzy primary suite with a sitting room all its own, a private balcony, dual bathrooms, and multiple closets. Additional amenities here are said to include a private screening room, a temperature-controlled wine cellar, gym, and even a full-service health spa. Last but not least, the sprawling exterior grounds features breathtaking landscaping, a pool, jacuzzi, outdoor kitchen, and a detached guest house perfect for visiting friends or housing staff. Now I know what you're thinking, wait a second, haven't we already been here before? I mean, it wasn't that long ago that Ben and JLo walked away from another deal that they were reportedly an escrow for. But considering that Ben and Jen have already been spotted bringing their kids with them to show this place off, I think it's a pretty safe bet that they finally found their dream home. Plus, just a few months ago, Ben listed and sold his former Pacific Palisades home in October for $28.5 million. Even more surprisingly, Jen just listed the Beller home these two once planned on moving into and is asking for almost double what she originally paid for it, a cool $42.5 million. So, in a sense, with their new home reportedly setting them back an estimated $34 million, Ben and Jen are actually going to make money on this move. And not an inconsiderable sum either. Well, there you have it, Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez's new marital home. It took a long time to get here, and there's always the chance that they change their minds yet again, but Here's hoping that after the lengthy journey that these two have been on, both in terms of their relationship and their home search, that they can finally rest up. At least until the next meme of them comes around, which with these two is never far away. Thanks for watching today's newest house tour, and before you head out, consider answering the following question for me. How long would you be willing to search for the perfect house to start a family in? Would you have the patience like these two have had and be able to wait years? Let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications to make sure that you never miss a new drop. My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat further, and I'll see you all in another one. Bye!